Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kimberly Buell for Rank Jane. This session is called The Basics of Link Building, and you'll be learning about the basic concepts and some steps to building links that you can use to boost your search engine rankings. Link building is a very essential part of SEO, and what we're doing here is building authority. If you have no authority, you have no rankings. So acquiring high authority links is going to boost your authority, and as you gain authority, you also gain interaction in the search results. At the end of this session, you're going to have a firm grasp on link building and be ready to move on to more advanced link building videos. So, before we get started, I want to answer a few common questions about links so that we have some foundational information to go on here. Now, the first and probably the most obvious question is, what is a link? A link is an HTML reference that allows the user to click and visit a different page. That's the simplest definition of a link. When somebody's on a website and they want to go to another page, they'll see a piece of text or images highlighted and click it and it'll take them to the next page. So when we're talking about building links, what we mean is we're going to be going out and acquiring those links that are from external sites to us. We want to build off-page optimization. So anytime we're talking about links, we are typically talking about these little pieces that have HTML codes, where if someone is on an external site and clicks that link, it's going to lead them to your site. This is another very common question I get, which is how many links do you need to rank well, or more specifically, to rank higher than my competitors? The answer to this is it completely depends on the keyword you're trying to rank for. As you can imagine, there's probably a lot less competition for some keywords than others. For example, if you're trying to rank for the best dog trainers in Santa Cruz, probably not a whole lot of competition there when we're talking about the internet. There might be a bunch of people in the town doing it, but they might not have an overly optimized website. They probably couldn't afford anybody to do SEO for them, so that's probably not going to be a lot of competition around a keyword. However, something like New York real estate or Los Angeles real estate, things like that are going to be heavily competitive. So it's not necessarily about how many links you need. It all starts with the keyword you're trying to rank for. Now, another thing to think about is it's not just about the number of links, it's about the quality of links. So in some ways, while this is a good question saying, well, I need to build links, how many do I build? It's not the only answer. Sometimes you need to think about what quality of links do I need to build and how can I build high quality links? And we cover that in depth in another video. So the next question is, what is anchor text? I refer to anchor text a lot in these videos, so I want to make sure that everybody knows what anchor text is. And simply, anchor text is the text that is inside of a link. So here I put a little screenshot, and you can see some text about green tea. And at the end, there's a little link, and it says, more info about green tea, with an arrow. That is the anchor text. The anchor text for that link is more info about green tea with an arrow. Anytime we're talking about anchor text, that's what we mean. What is the text that is contained inside of that link? Okay, now let's look at types of links. Let's think about the different types of links you can go and acquire to your site and how they differ and how you can start thinking about link building. The first type of link that is probably the best type of link if you can get in this way is natural. And what this means is that you're putting out great content. You're creating this wonderful content that other blogs and other websites just can't wait to link to. You post something to your blog and without doing anything, people start linking to it. That is a sign of very high quality content. Now, natural links don't necessarily happen until you have a certain level of popularity. It is the more difficult link to get but getting natural links is fantastic. It means you don't have to do any work for them and they go a long way for search engine optimization. The next type of link is outreach. And this is when you simply ask for links. 
And a good way to ask is to explain to someone else why the content you have is of value to their audience. So you could send an outreach email and say, hey, I just wrote this blog post. I know that your site is about a similar topic. I think your audience might find it useful. Would you go ahead and link to it? That's a great way to just simply ask. And you don't always get the link, but you do get a few. And those count very highly. Doing outreach is a great way to get started building links, especially when you're new and you don't have a whole lot of popularity yet. Outreach is a wonderful way to acquire links that are very natural in the way they look. They look very natural, but you simply asked for them as opposed to getting them without asking. The third and the last type of link is self-created. Now, self-created links are the least valuable type of link, but they're still good, especially if you're working in a niche where there's not a whole lot of competition. And what I mean by self-created is creating any sort of off-page content, such as articles on article directories, asking to guest post on other blogs, or doing videos. Any of those things, creating them and linking back to yourself, is considered a self-created link. Now we're going to cover some self-created links that you can go out and acquire, such as YouTube and SlideShare and eZine articles, things like that and some other videos. But it's good to think about while you are new creating the self-created links. You can do this, and it does help you for SEO. Doesn't help that much, but again, when you are new and you're not yet going to get natural links, and maybe even doing outreach isn't quite working for you, self-created links are a great way to get started and to also ride the coattails of other sites' authorities. Because a lot of these sites, like YouTube, have a lot of authority. So if you create great content, that authorities can funnel back to your site. So self-created content is a great way to start building links and building your authority. So in conclusion, that was an overview about the different types of links that you can build for your website to boost your authority and boost your Google rankings. In the upcoming videos, we're going to be covering some of the very specific action steps that you can follow to go out and acquire these links.